Hey everyone, this is Tass and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to review the Instant Pot lineup. So I've been using Instant Pot for the past five years. So I'm gonna share my experience cooking in the Instant Pot with you guys. So I'm going to compare different Instant Pot models, which one is the best model, which size Instant Pot you should buy, frequently asked questions, and a lot more. So guys, let's get started. If you're new to Instant Pot and planning to buy an Instant Pot and quite confused on which model to buy, I get you guys. So there are so many models out there. So I'm gonna help you guys with that. I'm gonna compare the different Instant Pot models. Here is the comparison chart. I have compared nine Instant Pot models. So I was not able to find a detailed chart online, so I created one by myself. So this is a pretty detailed chart. I have included all the cooking programs, all the features, price, everything. So this is pretty accurate information. So I hope you will find this helpful. So you will be able to get this chart from my blog, tazneen.com. I'll post the link in the description below. I'm not going to read through everything that's going to take up some time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight some of the features that are common in these models and all the other exciting features in the latest instant pot models here are the six common cooking programs in all these models pressure cook rice cook slow cook steamer saute food warmer Essentially, Instant Pot will replace all these six small kitchen appliances. Yogurt feature is not found in Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Pro Crisp models. Sous vide feature is not found in Instant Pot Duo and Ultra models. Cake or bake feature is not found in Instant Pot Duo, Duo Plus version 3, version 4 and Instant Pot Pro Plus models. There are two new cooking programs added, Canning and Nutri-Boost. So these two cooking programs are only found on the latest Instant Pot Pro Plus model. Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Pro Crisp models. So these are the models with air fryer, roast, broil and dehydrator features. Lid feature, automatic lid seal. So this feature is only found on Instant Pot Duo Plus, V3, V4, Evo Plus, Pro Crisp, Pro and Pro Plus. I love this feature so we don't have to worry about changing the steam release valve to sealing while pressure cooking. One of the upgraded lid features is it's compatible with quick cool tray. So here is the quick cool protective cover. It's found only in the models Instant Pot, Evo Plus, Pro Crisp, Pro and Pro Plus. Here's the quick cool tray. So this is for faster steam release up to 50% and this has to be bought separately available on Amazon and instanthome.com. Inner pot features, Evo Plus, Pro Crisp, Pro and Pro Plus, stainless steel pot is now stuffed top safe and also oven safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And the inner pot also has easy grab silicone handles. Yet another upgraded lid feature, it has steam release cover and gentle quiet steam release. It's only found in Instant Pot Duo Plus V4, Evo Plus, Pro Crisp, Pro and Pro Plus. Here is the steam release cover over the steam release valve. Because of this cover, steam release is now very gentle and quiet. Of all these models, the smartest multi-cooker is Instant Pot Pro Plus. It has Wi-Fi capability. So this is the latest Instant Pot model that will let you operate the unit wirelessly. You can also control the cooking programs by Instant Brands Connect app and there are also guided recipes, 800 plus chef curated recipes. Here's the Instant Brands Connect app so you can control all the cooking programs through this app and you can also discover 800 plus recipes. You can filter by different criterias and you just have to blindly follow the recipe. 
Instant pot cleanup is a breeze. All these models inner pot lid and ceiling ring are dishwasher safe. So keep it on the upper rack. So if you're going to keep the lid in the dishwasher, you have to remove the steam release valve and keep it on the upper rack. I usually hand wash the lid with dish soap. Instant pot power consumption varies with size and model. So these five models, three quart, 700 watts, six quart, 1000 watts, and eight quart, 1200 watts. These three instant pot models, Evo Plus, Pro Plus, and Pro, six quart is 1200 watts, and eight quart, 1400 watts. Here is the price comparison for different instant pot models. So the price is different for different sizes. I'm comparing six quart size. Only exception is for Instant Pot Pro Crisp is only available in eight quart. All the prices are in US dollars. So the cheapest Instant Pot model is Instant Pot Duo and the most expensive one is Instant Pot Pro Plus model. You can buy Instant Pot on Amazon and also on instanthome.com. That's the Instant Pot website and from major retail stores. When is the best time to buy Instant pot obviously during thanksgiving black friday sale and major holiday sale like christmas boxing day you will find great deals and unbeatable prices on instant pot if you're wondering what is an instant pot instant pot is essentially a programmable electric pressure cooker so in fact instant pot is the most popular and most loved electric pressure cooker brands out there is there any difference between the regular traditional pressure cooker and the instant pot pressure cooker? Absolutely yes. So one of the main differences is that in the instant pot, we don't have to babysit the instant pot. So after we add all the ingredients to the stainless steel pot and set it to pressure cook mode, we can literally walk away. So all the cooking will be done by the instant pot and after pressure cooking, it will also keep the food warm. Another difference is that in the instant pot, cooking is much faster compared to the regular pressure cooker without compromising the taste and flavor of the food. One of the features I really love about instant pot is that while pressure cooking, instant pot will remain drop dead silent. So unlike traditional pressure cooker, the whistle will keep rocking and also there will be frequent steam release. So that will not happen in the instant pot. In this section, I'm gonna cover some of the frequently asked questions about the instant pot. So the number one question I always get asked is, I have a regular or traditional pressure cooker, do I really need an instant pot? And my honest answer is absolutely yes, you need an instant pot in your life. So once you buy an instant pot or once you start cooking in the instant pot, you will not use the regular pressure cooker. And the beauty about instant pot is that instant pot will replace your pressure cooker, rice cooker, slow cooker, steamer. It can also do saute cooking so it can replace your uh, saute pans and then it will keep the food warm so it's a warmer and it can also make yogurt so it's also a yogurt maker so it's going to replace seven small kitchen appliances so what more do you need? Number two question is is it easy to cook with an instant pot? It is absolutely easy to cook with an instant pot. It's in fact effortless cooking in the instant pot. So in the instant pot, cooking time is much faster compared to the regular pressure cooker. And also we can do dump and go recipes in the instant pot, which means we can dump all the ingredients into the stainless steel pot. We don't have to do any saute cooking, anything like that. So if you're making like curries or stews or soups, just dump everything to the stainless steel pot and set the time and pressure and just walk away and after pressure cooking instant pot will also keep the food warm and there's also another kind of cooking we can do in the instant pot it's called pot in pot cooking so we can cook multiple dishes in the instant pot so only criteria is that uh, the dishes should have uh, the same cooking time so for instance we can cook uh, beef curry or beef stew and brown rice in the instant pot a pot in pot method because 
beef and brown rice they have the same cooking time almost 25 minutes another example is we can cook uh, chicken curry or chicken stew and uh, white rice white basmati rice in pot and pot method both of these have the same cooking time it's about uh, six minutes third question can you cook everything in the instant pot i would say pretty much a lot of dishes can be cooked in the instant pot like curries stews soups so any dishes that have a good amount of liquid we can pressure cook in the instant pot one pot uh, meals like biryanis pilavs or pilav uh, pot roast pasta with uh, chicken mixed vegetables or cheese so so many dishes can be cooked in the instant pot some of the instant pot models have cake feature in it so if you're going to make a cake in the instant pot it's basically doing pressure cooking or steam cooking so the texture of the cake that's made in the instant pot it's entirely different from the texture of the cake that's baked in the oven so the cake that's made in the instant pot it will not have that crispy brown top and sides so for that reason i seldom make cakes in the instant pot because i love that nice crispy brown top and sides uh, but taste wise it's not that bad instant pot is not great for stir frying so if you're making noodle stir fry or chicken or meat stir fry even though instant pot has saute setting when we do stir frying the bottom of the stainless steel pot will turn brown very fast for that reason i don't think we can do a lot of stir frying in the instant pot saute setting and also deep frying i don't think i will do um, deep frying in the instant pot i would rather use a pan for that fourth question is do i take the instant pot with me when i travel so when i'm on vacation i don't take the instant pot with me so while on vacation i really don't enjoy cooking so if i'm going out of country i love to explore local cuisine and different restaurants in that place however i have seen a lot of people taking the instant pot with them so if you have any food allergies or if you only eat home cooked meals or if you're pure vegan or vegetarian then definitely you can take the instant pot with you you can also save a lot of money by doing that uh, or if you're away from your home uh, for a few months um, you know taking the instant pot with you guys will be a great idea fifth question how much power does an instant pot consume so a three quart instant pot consumes 700 watts six quarts thousand watts and eight quart instant pot consumes 1200 watts sixth question before cooking in the instant pot for the first time, do I have to do the initial test run or water run? So it is highly recommended to do the initial test run or water run. So that way we can ensure if everything is working properly in the instant pot and we can also familiarize with the instant pot. So I would highly recommend you guys doing the initial test run or water run. Question number seven, does cooking time change if we half the recipe or double the recipe in the instant pot? In general, when you double or half a recipe, you don't need to modify the pressure cooking time. However, there are a couple of exceptions to this. If you're cooking a large or thicker piece of food than the recipe calls for, you might have to increase the pressure cooking time. For instance, while cooking pot roast, for one pound, we only have to pressure cook for 45 minutes. For two to three pounds, we have to pressure cook for an hour. Another exception is cooking time for defrosted and frozen meat are different. So for defrosted boneless chicken, pressure cooking time is only 10 minutes. While the same frozen boneless chicken has to be pressure cooked for 20 minutes. Question number eight, what instant pot model is the right one for me? So if you're new to instant pot or if you're a beginner in instant pot cooking, I would highly recommend instant pot a duo model. So it's the original model and it has almost all programmable cooking settings and it's also the cheapest instant pot. If you already have an instant pot duo model and looking to upgrade your instant pot i would highly recommend instant pot pro model so it's one of the latest instant pot models and it has uh, many upgraded features and settings
If you're looking for an instant pot with both pressure cooking and air fryer feature, I would highly recommend Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Air Fryer. So it has both pressure cooking feature and also air fryer along with sous vide, bake and roast features. If you are a tech savvy person and if you're looking for the latest and the greatest Instant Pot model, then you should definitely get the Instant Pot Pro Plus. It has the Wi-Fi capability and you can also control all the cooking and all the settings using an app and it also has guided recipes so you just have to uh, follow the guided recipes so cooking will be an absolute breeze in instant pot pro plus number nine what size instant pot should i get so instant pot comes in three sizes three quart six quart and eight quart so it really depends on for how many people are you cooking for? So if you're cooking for one to two people, you should go for three quart instant pot. If it's for families of uh, three to five people, six quart is an ideal instant pot size. And if it's for five to eight people, you should totally go for eight quart. And if you entertain a lot, if you do a lot of parties or if you do meal prep and freezer meals, then you should definitely get the eight quart instant pot. Question number 10, the final question. My instant pot is sitting in the box. How do I start? I would say just take that pot out of the box right away and do the initial test run or the water run so you can familiarize with the instant pot and then cook something simple in the instant pot maybe rice or soup don't go for complicated or fancy recipes when you're cooking in the instant pot for the first time I have many easy breezy and delicious instant pot cooking videos so watch all those videos and make delicious food in the instant pot I'll post all the links in the description below once you get the hang of it you will be seen cooking in the instant pot almost every single day so take the pot out of the box cook in the instant pot and enjoy delicious dishes that's cooked in the instant pot I have the detailed review of Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Air Fryer, Instant Pot Pro and Instant Pot Pro Plus. I'll post the links in the description below. Check that out. So what's your favorite Instant Pot model? Do let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions about any of these models, feel free to ask me. So that's a wrap guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll be back with more Instant Pot reviews and cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.